Top of the top, y'all. It's your boy, Show Tapping In. Today, I just wanted to do a really quick video to address a question that I get really often when it comes down to establishing a new business or LLC. And that question is, what address should I use? That is a great question. And personally, I always suggest that you use a virtual address, okay? Unless your business has an actual office location like mine uh, where people can come into and that you have on your marketing uh, material and things like that, you should be using a virtual address, okay? If you have a sole proprietorship or a small business that you operate by yourself or a business that you operate virtually and you pretty much work from home or Starbucks or wherever the case may be, you still want to be looked at as as a legitimate establishment and even though people might not come into your location when they see that you actually have an address that gives you a lot of credibility and then also and most importantly whatever address you file on your LLC uh, formation that is the address that is going to be populated anytime somebody looks up your LLC okay this is public information and you don't want your personal address to be attached to that okay let's say for God forbid you have bad customer service, somebody looks up your business and it's your home address. Now, instead of leaving a bad Google review, somebody might wanna come by and egg your damn house. Well, if you got a virtual address listed, then they won't be able to find your house. I mean, let's be honest, people these days can still find your information online nine times out of 10 if they really try, but we wanna make it a little bit harder for them, all right? So when you are filing for your LLC, you should use a virtual address if you do not have a physical office location. When I say a virtual address, I mean an address that you use virtually because you're not working there and you don't have to be there, but it is addressed to an actual structure, an actual establishment, okay? Because things like PO boxes will not work when you are filing for an LLC. They want your address to be attached to a physical structure. If you don't have an office and you can't use a PO box, the only other option is to use a virtual address unless you want to use your personal home address or your mama's personal home address, which I also don't advise, all right? So this is going to be a really quick video just showing you guys how I set up my virtual address. Let's do it. All right, y'all, let's get it. So we go here. And I mean, to make it easy, you can go to Google, type in virtual address, and all of these website options will pop up. Um, I haven't tried any of these other ones. So, I mean, there are literally dozens of options for you to choose from, but I personally use postscanmail.com. When you go here, pretty much lets you see uh, what it would look like if you sent mail. All right. So your name, your company name, and then this address here, and then you have options as far as how you want to sign up. And like I said, it's fairly cheap. For $10 a month, you can receive letters and packages up to 30 mail pieces a month. All right. Uh, for $20 a month, you can receive up to 60 packages a month and they will even open and scan up to 10 of those per month included in this. For this package right here, if you want them to open and scan your mail for you, then it will be at a cost. OK. And then, of course, they have premium here. If you go to annual, you can probably two months free. So you save a little bit of money if you want to pay for the year up front. All right. Um, and then all plans include real U.S. street address at mail center or office building. This is the key. This is what we're looking for, because remember, you cannot use a P.O. box. All right. 24 seven online access to your mail items, unlimited iCloud storage, email notifications for new mail and packages received, content scans with the ability to download the PDF, local mail and package pickup. So even though you're using this for a virtual address uh, just to set up your LLC or establish your business credibility, if you actually get mail at these locations, you can pick it up because nine times out of 10, it is local. And when you set this up, they're going to ask for your zip code. So even though it's a virtual mailbox, there are physical addresses that you can go to, which is what makes this a viable option when um, starting your LLC. All right mail item consolidation and package forwarding so they can forward your packages to you uh, unlimited recycling of junk mail 
personal or LLC business use mobile app for Android and iOS devices. So they also have an app so you can receive your mail on your phone. If you're a busy entrepreneur on the go, this is literally perfect. All right. I, I love uh, this virtual mailbox. So let's log in. See what I got. I am not a robot. Ain't it crazy that a robot going to tell me to confirm if I'm a robot? It's like, bro, you the robot. But it's cool. I digress. All right. So I have mail here from a year and two years ago. Um, and actually, as you can see here, you have mail items that are currently occurring storage fees. OK, I didn't know that they charge storage fees uh, if you didn't do something with the mail, but that is good to know. OK, so click on this here. It is going to show you the mail. Uh, front of the mail because obviously they have not opened your mail and they will not open your mail without your permission. It will just sit here and um, obviously uh, rack up storage fees. OK, so you can have them open and scan the mail. You can have them ship it or mail it to you. You can recycle it. You can have them shred it. Um, move to. Nope. Don't want to do that. You can pick it up. Um, so, I mean, there are <clears throat> several options for you to actually receive this mail. All right. So there's my business name and then there is my virtual address. So what I'm going to do, because both of these packages are really, really old. I'm just going to elect to have them shred these. You know what? Actually, yeah, because this is my business information. So I'll have them shred these. Boom. So the shred is pending. Now my mailbox is empty. A really user friendly, very simple to navigate inbox, any folders you create, any archive scans, any outgoing mail. If you're actually, if you're sending mail from here, uh, awaiting requests, important scan complete. So, you know, you can kind of go through everything right here. And if you trash stuff like I just did to have them shred it, it'll be right here in the trash. So if you make a mistake, um, you can see the shred is pending. And so I could cancel that request if I wanted to. All right. So if you make a mistake, then you can cancel that request. Uh oh. And I actually canceled it, but I don't want to do that. I want them to actually shred this. Well, that was pretty easy, right? Uh, hopefully this video helped. Hopefully this video reaches an entrepreneur who is just setting up their first business and needing to establish a virtual address so they can get their business running. And I wish you the best, my friend, on your new endeavor. May you make tons of money for you and your family and even add value to a ton of people down the line. My goal for this channel is to touch as many entrepreneurs as possible. And so that's why I drop videos just like this. Uh, so if you have any questions regarding the LLC, the virtual mailbox or entrepreneurship in general, feel free to leave me a comment or hit me up on social media. My links are below in the description. And if you're interested in real estate investing and being a real estate entrepreneur, I suggest you check out some of my other videos on this channel uh, because I give a lot of games surrounding that. I am a real estate entrepreneur myself. Really, man, I, I just hope this helps somebody out there, man. Goal is to keep on flipping till we get to freedom. Flipping real estate, flipping business, flipping stocks, flipping whatever it is that you can flip until you get that money right, man. You can be financially free. That's what this channel is all about. Until the next time, y'all, tap in.